Hello, my name is Roland from the Coatsys Group. Today I'd like to give you a brief overview of what's new in Coatsys in quarter two of 2024. Coatsys Virtual Control SL is now available. As this new product is a containerized runtime, you can run it multiple times on the same standard hardware. In short, several independent virtual controllers on one and the same hardware. Of course, this reduces the cost of hardware and its installation. Coatsys Virtual Control can be seamlessly integrated into existing IT infrastructures. Thanks to the proven orchestration methods in the IT sector, maintenance and management are easier, for example, for firmware updates. You can also use these updates to optimally adapt functions and numbers according to your requirements. As part of the modularization process, we have released the base libraries add-on. This add-on contains six libraries providing powerful basic functionalities in various technical areas. IP communication, memory management, data structures, asynchronous tasks, multi-cycle activities. The libraries were already part of the code's setup and have now been transferred to the add-on to promote the modularization of Coatsys. This allows you to publish and update the libraries independently of Coatsys, which is also beneficial for users of older versions of Coatsys such as Service Pack 19. In addition, add-ons can now independently set minimum requirements for library versions. The POU Visu Generator generates visualizations from SFC and ladder objects, POUs. If a transition of an SFC POU is implemented as a ladder, a navigation to the ladder transition and back to the SFC POU is generated. This gives you the opportunity to easily display SFC and ladder diagrams within the visualization. Code to Static Analysis is part of the Professional Developer Edition. You can use this tool to check the source code of your application using rules and to find potential problem areas. In the new version, most of these rules are already checked during pre-compilation and reported directly in the editors. This means you no longer have to compile the project for checking. Quick fixes are also available for many of these rules. This means that you can have rule violations corrected automatically at a click of a mouse. We recommend the new cognitive complexity metric for measuring complexity. The static analysis engine can also predict potential values of variables during offline analysis, which significantly reduces the number of false positives. We have also implemented new rules for the save use of arrays, pointers, references and interfaces and for avoiding division by zero. Codes' Trace now supports the automation of workflows using the script API within the Codes' development system. A new scripting driver for Trace is available that allows you to create traces and to configure them by adding variables. You can also use it to control the recording of traces. In addition, there are some adjustments to the user interface that make the tool even easier for you to use. The trend functionality in the Codes visualization now supports the configuration of start and end time for specific time periods. A second arrow can be displayed for measuring devices and the scroll area within the frame is determined dynamically. You can also flash the text color. The tag view visualization provides a detailed overview of the counted tags for application-based licenses. It lists used variables of tags and shows the visualization call tree. There are several improvements in alarm management. A confirmation comment for the alarm table, of course OPC UA compliant, is now supported, with the comment and user ID being saved in the alarm history. Alarms can be re-triggered after a certain time 
and digital alarms can be automatically reset after acknowledgement. The separation of alarm detection and alarm processing enables fast alarm detection at the end of an application task. You can now use the import export text lists command to import and export individual text lists and separate CSV files. The new file management and the automation server now makes it very easy to handle files remotely. For example, transfer them between clients and PLCs. You can now start, stop and reset applications on remote PLCs in the web app, even on multiple controllers at the same time, if you wish. Expired Edge Gateway certificates can now be renewed with a specially created connection. This means that affected Edge Gateways are once again connected to the automation server with full functionality. This all works directly via a web app in any standard browser. In Kotus EtherCAT, you can now edit safety mappings manually and deactivate the watchdog, simply by setting the time to zero in the EtherCAT device editor. We've also integrated support for distributed timers and the import for slave configuration information files, SCI. SCI files are hidden by default. You can make the files visible by activating the Show All Versions checkbox. IO Driver EtherCAT now also supports embedded runtime systems. The device editor for IOLink has been expanded to include a new interface and implementation for forwarding services. In this way, the add-on serves as a gateway and enables proprietary add-ons to establish a connection to IOLink devices. The new version of Codesys Profinet now supports TCI, tool calling interface for both Profinet and Profisafe. The Profinet configurator now enables the use of device tool invocation and uses the new GSDML schema. The import of Profisafe version 2.6 GSDML files is also new. Codesys SVN and Codesys UML entered the service phase on March 31st, 2024. In the next 12 months, the following products, among others, will leave the service phase and be discontinued. Use of child applications on March 31st, 2025. Shutdown of the old online help on July 31st, 2024. For a complete list of discontinued products, please visit our website.